We're taking the derivative of y equals sine of x times e to the x plus pi squared. The first part, we have a product rule. And the pi squared, well, pi is just a constant, so pi squared is a constant. So while it may be tempting to run power rule on this, we don't have a variable in here. So this is just a constant by itself, so the derivative will be 1. So really, all we're doing is product rule on this first part here. Product rule says leave part of it alone. I like leaving the sine of x alone first. Times the derivative of the second. Remember, e to the x is its own derivative. Now we'll leave e to the x alone times the derivative of sine, which is cosine of x. This will always happen with product rule with an exponential. You'll always be able to pull out that exponential piece. So we have e to the x times sine x plus cosine x for our derivatives. 